welcome back to the second cart workshop. Today we're going to work on a, a tubing bender that I bought I think about three years ago. Uh, but I think I got it on eBay. eBay. Uh, I saw a guy on Facebook on the mini bike pages had built a mini bike frame using this tool and I thought man that's pretty cool. Uh, it's inexpensive. Um, truth be done I've already taken it out of the box but I'm going to show you what you get. Uh, this was about 180 bucks I think? No, 112 dollars. I think they're about 180 now. So this is the manual pipe bender user's manual. It says pipe bending, but it bends tubing as well. This thing doesn't really tell you much. It's just one sheet of paper. That's it. It was complete crap, total waste of time. Um, so basically it comes with the base, and this is, was out in the rain, like rain last night. But that's the base. You get this part here. And it comes with a handle extension. And it comes with a selection of different dies. Uh, primarily, I'm interested in the one inch and the seven eighths inch. So this is the one inch one. And the one inch following dies are already in the tool. So these little dies, depending on the size you're gonna get, there's two, three, four or five different sizes. I kind of look in the box, there are all these different ones. They're still in the packaging. I'm not gonna probably ever use any of those. Um, but it comes with them just in case you wanna bend some smaller diameter tubing. So let me get this out of the way. This thing's heavy. So the whole reason I got the tubing bender out of the box and put it into use was because I needed to build an exhaust system for the 1932 Aston Martin cycle cart, which is right here. So I've already bent, and this is my first attempt. I just put the machine, made pretty much a 90 on this one, and I put a little 20 or 30 degree kink here, and man, first try, it's perfect. That never happens twice. So a second time, again, just a straight 90 degree bend on this one, and these are gonna get trimmed down inside but uh, now I've got a welded here so that's pretty close to being ready to be welded up and uh, the machine does make little marks little tiny scratches in the surface but that can be sanded out I'm not sure if it's gonna pick it up on the camera you can see them right here just see almost like a circular mark right there uh, the aluminum is really soft and so it picks up uh, inside this die I'll show you right here this die, this is the part that kind of holds it. It doesn't really clamp it, but it kind of holds it. And, and since I did that, I smoothed it up. So I'm gonna bend one for you to see if it still marks it. But there was little like sharp edges in here uh, from the tooling probably. And what you do is you bolt this down and tighten it and that kind of holds that in place. And when you put your tube through here and it locks again, when you put tension on it, it leaves a mark kind of along that edge. Cause, probably just because the aluminum is very soft. Uh, this is, I don't know what thickness aluminum is this. It's like. Oh, I forgot, one eighth inch or sixteenth, I think sixteenth inch thick. Anyway, fairly thin stuff, it's lightweight. And um, so I'll put this together and I'll show you how I mounted it. I'm actually mounting it, kind of uh, making up my own mount. Some guys will mount this like on your tool bench or something like that. But in my backyard, I've got one of these Harbor Freight compact benders. So I'm gonna take the bender off and mount it to the stand that's already on the ground there. So it's got a nice sturdy stand. So you can put your weight behind this thing and, and do it. And I'll show you what I rigged up. Actually, I'll show you right now. I just got these pieces of angle iron, drill some holes, and these will mount here through this and, and mount it to the to the thing. So let's, I'll take you out in the backyard and show you how I did that, and then we'll show you how it bends. Pretty simple operation, really. Okay, so this is my Rusty Krusty Harbor Freight tubing bender, and uh, it was already like this when I bought it secondhand. All these dies are already rusty, so I thought, well, it doesn't do any harm to keep it outside. So I mounted it in the backyard, got some concrete in the ground with some lag bolts. So when I bend metal, and I've used this quite a bit on my other soccer cart projects, uh, it works great because it's, it's solidly mounted and I don't have to drill a hole in my workbench. It's, my workbench kind of flexes a little bit. So anyway, I unbolt this thing, and that's what we get. We get three holes. The problem with that is the new tool has four holes. Let me show you that. Sorry, my dog's chasing away the, the murderers and rapists uh, that might be lurking nearby. So that's the problem. So anyway, we're gonna rig up a mount. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so we got it mounted on these uh, pieces of metal uh, L brackets, securely mounted. There's our helper roof. Uh, so this is mounted on here. There's a stopper here, which matches up with your stopper here. So as you do it, you just bottom out there. So. Um, but as you come along, this is where it's going to stop. That's where your leverage happens. This is a one-inch die. And my walls are in the way, so I've got to use a, a little creativity. Last time I had to kind of move this around a couple different times to 
so there's room for the arm. But uh, let me go ahead and show you how this assembles. So I've already got the one-inch die in the bottom bottom wheel here, the small wheel. So it just sits right on there. Kind of bring it over so your pipe can go in here, your tubing. So your piece of tubing goes in here. And what you want to do is you want to, if you're doing it with a, a piece, it's going to be, you want to bend in a specific spot. Take a scrap piece, mark where it fits in the machine, and then make a sample bend. And then you can and put marks on here, like every couple inches. And you know how much takeoff you're going to have, because it's going to change the diameter. If you want to bend in a certain spot, you don't need to play with how to do that. I, there's videos on the internet to show you how to do that, tell you how to do that. Okay, so get that in there. Tighten that up a little bit. Kind of get it over there so that the um, the tubing's going to be out here. You put it on a mark, so it kind of moves around a little bit. So you're going to kind of wedge it in there to hold it in a certain spot. I'm going to kind of put it right up near the end. Um, so there's that. So you can bring your pipe along here. This is just going to be, this is where your bend is going to happen, right in these wheels as it comes along here. So as I pull this around, Maybe I can do this without the big pipe. Now I got room so I can put this other tool on here. Slide that on. Now I got leverage. Back up a little bit. Back up over here. Ready? I'm just going to bring it all in around. I'm going to do a full 90. Oh, that's just about, not quite 90 yet. Right about there. So there's not a dial indicator on this, you're kind of guessing a little bit, go a little past it, not guessing into the world. But, um... Now we'll flatten it out tiny, tiny bit. You can feel a little bit of flatness in there, not too bad, but that's pretty round, there's no kinks. Well, the good news is it didn't leave, it didn't leave nearly as bad a mark as it did previously. So. You can go further with it. I only went part way. That was only 90 degrees. You need to bend to something more of a 180 or close to a 180. You could probably do that. Uh, put it in and do a second bend if you needed to. So that turned out pretty good. So I think this tool is worth it for $114. Uh, I'm able to make my own bends now, which opens up the possibility of building lots of stuff with tubing. You can make mini bike frames, motorcycle frames. I'm thinking about building a cycle cart with round tubing something to think about. Okay, well that's it for this video. This tool is a pretty good success. I'll put the link to uh, the current part numbers in the description so uh, you guys can see what the basically the same kind I got. There's a couple different brands and different colors, whatever. They're basically the same tool. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.